Hello Udemy, I am Shazad Ahmed from Checkzee.com and welcome in lecture number 11. Today we are going to talk about custom helpers. So uh, what is the requirement and why you need to create your custom helper. So how can you concise your or how, how can you reduce your code. For suppose uh, we have created, we have a single HTML helper. Sorry, uh, not HTML. We have a admin helper. Once again, sorry. We have an admin controller and we have created our login system using an admin controller. Okay, so now you can see you are repeating some code again and again. So the uh, one line of code, one line of code. So this is your code. So this is your code and this is your code. This is your code. So why you need to uh, repeat again and again uh, because uh, it's a specific task which you, you are performing on uh, uh, while you are validating something uh, from your database or from your uh, data which is coming from the HTML uh, forms so why you are repeating okay so first of all uh, whenever you want to repeat whenever you want to repeat something or if you have a some specific task which is repeating again and again inside your project what you need you just need to create a custom helper first of all then you just need to create a function a particular function so you can easily call that functions uh, by using the custom helper so how can you create your custom helper go to your application helper and now create a file which is uh, I'm saying the name of file custom make sure underscore helper make sure you have to specify underscore helper okay so now you have created you have successfully created a custom helper so go to your config auto load now you can specify your helper so this is your helper you can set to auto load I'm saying custom underscore helper so close your auto load file so now create a method for suppose you what so these are the steps so one you are setting some flash data second you are redirecting okay so you have to create a method so you can easily call these two lines of code by calling that per that particular method so how can you do that I'm saying that function I'm saying set flash data okay set flash data first of all okay and I'm saying echo first of all you need to okay it's working or it's working now first of all die I'm dying my script and now I'm calling uh, this method so I'm saying set flash data okay so now you can see whenever I want to access my home controller so it's saying working so now you are accessing this method so first of all you are setting a key a message and a redirect URL then I'm saying first parameter we are receiving here I'm saying this is class first of all then message then I'm saying URL redirect URL so how can you specify first suppose I'm saying this is the class uh, I'm saying CI get instance okay and I'm saying CI uh, okay just 
remove this i'm saying this not this because you cannot uh, call session inside this so that's why you need to create an instance so i'm saying ci uh, session so what you need you need to call the flash data set flash data okay there are two methods or two it takes two parameters first error i'm saying this is error for suppose or, or you can specify anything like key and then you can say this is message okay so what about redirect url i'm saying redirect redirect to which i'm saying uh, that please redirect to this okay so now you what you are saying you are setting some information with message and you are redirecting so whenever you want to perform this task you just need to call set flash data method which you have just specified and you just need to pass some parameters so for suppose here is your class i'm saying this is class so i'm saying alert danger okay so this is the bootstrap class by the way and copy this script paste this here and redirect url here is the redirect url so now you can remove this method from here now you can call this method to everywhere so where you are calling you are calling this method here so you can say set flash data you can set something here and i'm saying that uh, this is the message okay so this is oh, okay this is a message this is the url and this is the class which is alert warning okay so now uh, i'm saying you can call this method also here set flash data and you can pass three parameters first alert warning this is a bootstrap class then your message and then your url so this is your url okay so whenever you want to perform this task you just need a call a simple method which you have created inside your custom uh, helper so first of all go to your admin section refresh the page so now it's saying session is undefined because you are not loading sessions before accessing i'm saying this load session okay so now refresh the page so now it's saying session is ci load s e w s i o n this load session okay i'm saying ci capital okay this session set flash data okay refresh the page call to undefined method okay this load sorry library so this is the library session okay now library okay so now it's saying uh, fine or if you can provide something wrong you can say okay you are providing something wrong hit the login button so it's saying nothing because you are setting 
you are calling the alert warning or alert class inside here so you have to specify uh, this class to here okay okay here here okay so now just do nothing hit the button so it's saying please check the required fields so it's totally depend upon you how you are coding and what is your coding style first of all uh, this is your class so you need to create your class I'm saying so this is my class uh, I'm setting so this is class I'm saying this key is the class first of all then class name and this is message just I'm going to explain what's going on message okay so now it's, it's fine so you need to check the class first of all if the class is exist just print the message first of all and now refresh the page and just do nothing hit the sign up button so it's saying please specify now go to your bootstrap bootstrap 3 and call something um, alert method so here is your alert where is the alert okay alert is not available inside the CSS sections I think it's available in the component sections so go to components and you can find alerts so here is your alert so you can copy this bad boy all your bad boy from here okay so now what is the class so this is your class I'm saying this is the class okay this is the class and what is the message I'm saying this is a message okay okay boy this is a message go to your page so now do nothing hit the submit button so it's saying please check the required fields and try again okay so now you have successfully uh, created your custom sections and your uh, method and you are calling on everywhere then you it's your duty to concise your code first of all you are you can see uh, if these coding okay for now it, I think it's enough for now and, and uh, I will teach you each and everything in the later lecture so thank you for watching